Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're gonna go over some of the graphical editors that we can use for our Atari 2600. So stick around. Alright so let's get started and uh, let's start with our Let's start for editors that we don't need to use a web editors because we have those. You know, let's focus on these ones. And first, let's focus on the Junksoft tools. And oh, not you. Here it is junksoft.com slash tools. However, if you open, you're just going to get our connection is not private. It might be an error. I downloaded this before this happened. If you go to advanced, like not set a fire 31 days ago so it was at some point I'm not gonna I'm not gonna assume it's safe but it was at the point and I downloaded these files so it's up to you if you wanna actually use them uh, just kind of letting you know that these uh, editors is actually exist and if you try to s download them I mean if you try to install them you're gonna come with this error.net is version 1.1 and regardless what you do it's not really gonna open uh, not really gonna install the files for us doesn't matter what exactly we do just gonna come to the .net side and tell you it's to download however they did left the source files over here so if you have uh, any kind of C sharp uh, compiler which I do have over here so let me close the solution because I was had a play field open we could go to your compiler in this case I have Visual Studio which does have a compiler my IDE or your C sharp IDE and come to either sprite or play field is gonna be exact same step you're gonna go to your source file then you're gonna to your editor and then you have your sprite editor over here or your playfield editor. You don't want to set up just the editor. So we're gonna open them over here. And then you can set up your debugger release. Uh, set up your release start. It's gonna run, however, it's gonna give him an error. And that is because you have to copy the well first you have to make sure it runs and give the error so it can compile the file. Then you're gonna copy this pal uh, copy this palette dot that file. Come to bin debugger release, which one you have? You have a release and paste this palette dot that file right over here, and then the editor is gonna work perfectly. So that's the setup, a uh, quick setup in order to work these editors from Junksoft. So now let's open it. And uh, most of the editors have this exactly time set up. So you have a grid, and here you have a color. So let me draw something over here really fast. So here it is. Um, something really fast. Doesn't even have to make any sense. And my left click draw and my right click erases. So that's pretty much a common thing between all these editors I'm going to show. And here is my color. I can click to get whatever one I want. And that's how you get our data. So you can always create a new, you can open, you can save, you can change the label. Here you have a sprite data. Oops, let me cancel. Let me change this, for example, sprite one. Oh. So it doesn't like uh, numbers. I uh, can output my file, that's to save. I can fill the whole thing. Oh, I can erase now, something like this. I can have the sprite data only, or the sprite and colors. So this is reverse or non reverse, either re incrementing or loop from 194, from 0 to 190, no, 0 for 192, my bad, or from 192 in decreasing. And have binary or hexadecimal data. And here you can have our NTSC or PAL version. Just click over here to change. And here you have our preview. So let me, I'll put this uh, fast over here. Uh, Playfield editor. 
pin release test yes I put in my play field instead of a instead of the sprite editor. So here list. Here's test. Let me edit. Just to show you guys. And here he has uh, our sprite and sprite colors. And actually he gave us a whole uh, a whole code over here which you can copy and paste over here and it's blank let's go and here is our sprite which we're moving I'm pressing the buttons up and down to actually move this uh, our sprite over here so that's one thing you can do let me erase over here and close over here so that's our sprite editor I want to discard since we already have our play field editor, let's do over here. Here's my spam. Thanks a lot. Uh, here is exactly the same thing. Like I said, it's a common team even for the editor. So here is my right, here's my left. The only difference that we actually gonna encounter is that here you have a reflected and no reflected mode and mirrored. So all the three types we have over here reflected, so so here's something like this and pretty much like I said before right click draws left click uh, erases mirror or something like that and of course you have the exact same setup in TSC PAL here to change the labels to change belief data reverse order and reverse and you have your binary data or you want to do hexadecimal so so I'll put this on test over right yes Let's edit. Let's copy and paste all of this again. Oh. Uh, did it actually. Oh. Let me delete this. Make sure. Output source. Oh, it's in documents. Okay. Uh -huh. Playful editor. Being release. Okay, let's edit now. Oh, and here is only the play field. Here you have play field one, zero, and two. And of course, I don't think it set the colors on, but you can add the color. That's pretty much how it works with these junk soft editors. So here you have the first one. And now let's go to the next one, which is the, I think the most popular of them all, which is the Batari Basic. Batari Basic is pretty much a graphic editor that combines the, the Dasma Assembler with Basic. Basic is a old obsolete eh, language, it's not really used anymore, but it was really popular back in the day when the Atari 2600 was actually popular. And over here I already have a uh, project set up and here I uh, let me delete this just to demonstrate let's create a new item play field oh let's add a name P uh, let's name it oh hey why not Wally and let's add a new one this one's gonna be sprite sprite and here's our play field you can pretty much the same the same as pretty much all editors right click draws or left click uh, left click oh, in this case left click gives you more commands this one is click one click again to the to erase so here you can like set up to mirror and so forth you can change uh, the colors this some resize over here and so forth 
the only difference with this one is when you come well, let me save over here just to show you guys let me see if I can view in notepad the only difference here is the colors and here is the play field so it doesn't set up the the data over here as far as I know I'm pretty sure they should let me see as far as I know there's no way I can work with this well there is but you know you can just copy and paste this into your code however if it does choose a sprite I have it over here do this like this let me save let me open the editor notepad as you see over here it does give us the sprite and as you see it also give us in decrement mode the no revert the reverse order which is something that we want it says you give us a color choose color let me save let's uh, open notepad one more time and here's our colors so everything's working fine so you can either have their junk shot or junk soft editors or you can have the Batari basic for our sprite editor at least so let me and uh, the good thing about this Batari it does have other tools that you can use such as the music and sound editor but that's something we can go, can go over it later as you see got an error so you're gonna check what's the problem so uh, that's the first thing so now we're done with the the softwares that we couldn't install then install on our computer so here's the link for the Batari here is the sound you're gonna have to download uh, both files and install them over here that's what I did download both files and paste them over here and here you have other stuff like the image to code which you can get a picture over here and it's gonna it's gonna convert it into a file here is my the picture that we had over here you can battery basic in assembly create image and here it is the picture in bytes and here you have your code with which is not gonna use it so that's the battery basic so let's go to our web and here are the links and here's junks uh, there's a junk soft we don't need that anymore here's the link for that one and here I have already a playfield editor and it's pretty much like the other ones this one click once to draw click once again to to erase and here you can change reflected to copy and so forth and here is our so you can delete this if you want and here you can change the actual height of the play field so, so, so you can sit 50 set height so it's pretty straightforward there's uh, as far as I know there's not really a color it's just a quick draw for play field so that's one of them and the last one is a oh, is a tool for the 2600 this is made by alien bill and alienbill.com just go to the site and i'm uh, gonna go to 2600 programming and here you have a bunch of good information you can go over even the Atari basic and here we have the editors that i use the most since it's pretty much easy you have the play field pow and the player pow too here it has the old one as well so let's go to the play field. Here you can change the size as well. Let's, let's put 10. Set it to delete my work. So it's pretty much like before. Copy, reflect, and none. And let's put black, green. And here is you're drawing just one part. The other part, as you see, is going to be on the on the preview over here so you can 
we got reflected you see the changes a little bit and here you can change the amount of our play field size so let's see 50 let's make it really big as you see over here if it changes it does uh -huh, let's go green and white that's fine just gets a little bit uh, crowded but it's something you can work with and here you can generate the code user play field like your play field data here's zero there's one there's two and so forth you can select copy and paste this is uh, one of the your play field power that you can work with and here is our sprite data so let me close this and here you have a bunch of options as you see you can change the high update you can click to draw click one more time to erase pretty pretty standard by now let's give this a, so let's do something like this let's do something like this and here you can change the color so let's blue why why something like this uh, just having fun by now and here we have our our sprite you can even animate it so draw different so pretty much like Photoshop these are layers and you can animate and so forth here is our advanced options you have our video mode for NTSC or PAL and as you see it does change a little bit here we can do more modes single double or quad that's this will work with and here you have two line kernel three line kernel and so forth here is our canvas and that's the only this show here's to view the animation every 10 frames but the most important thing you can generate uh, the code for the battery basic or simple code or just the code that we need for the player and the color of course you can just click uh, the sample code copy this come to our file over here erase this paste this pretty much like the other ones I can move around with my player and if you see ever plus left or right is does the reflect player that we talked about in the previous video so that's most of the editors that I know of uh, I'm gonna put the description on the link where you can download and work with them and that's pretty much gonna be it for this video in the next video like I said from the one before I'm gonna work with the PIA timers with the different times you can use to work with our for within our code so that's in the next video so thanks for watching see you guys